Lebanese Ether Freestyle Drive. What's going on, everybody? Got a real special guest with me today. Finally, a new episode for y'all. Got my man Power. What's going on, my brother? Fifth. Fifth Power. What up, G? AKA Father Shah. Yes, sir. That was your previous name, right? Yeah, yeah. Father Shah, S H A. Yeah, facts. Now you go by Fifth Power for the most part, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. We out here in Shaolin. Mm -hmm. Home you, base. Home base, yeah. I was just gonna ask you, so you from Shaolin? You born and raised born in Staten Island? Born and raised all my life. Facts. I ain't never lived nowhere else. How's that yeah. been growing up on Staten Island? Staten Island is just Staten Island, you know. It's, it's small as fuck. But, you know. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Got you, man. So. I got to know you through Second Generation Wu when you formed yeah. a group, but I know you started off as a solo artist initially. Yeah. Under Father Shaw initially. Yeah. What was like what was your motivation at that time when you was releasing music? At that time it was like I was up at school and I was just up one night and I don't know what the fuck happened. Uh I was just listening to mad music and I was just in the dark and I just started rapping. To one of my, right into one of my dad's beats. Okay. And shit, this is just like you know, seeing where I'm at, because I used to like rap on and off and shit. Like for those who don't know, I want to get into it later on. But your dad is method man. Yeah. So you're from the Wu Tang legacy. Yeah. You cut from that cloth. Yeah. So he's from my old man. No doubt. <laughs> so you was rap, rhyme, writing rhymes over one of his yeah, beats. You said. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet love off the the couch with nice. Jazz album. Okay. And um, yeah, I just I recorded it in my room on my laptop and shit. And I sent it to Intel, and I sent it to my dad, and they both liked it and shit. Nice. So, since then, I've just been taking it mad serious and shit. You know, I've released two mixtapes, and I've just been going ever since. Cool. So you released the two mixtapes? I, I, I know... Summertime 96, Summertime 96 was the first one, and then Peep was the second okay. one. Okay. Oh, yeah, and... Um, Free Water, Free Water. Water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I listened to that a bunch of times. I'm like, free water, John, because I want to talk about that with the mm -hmm. name and everything. Yeah. But the initial project was Summertime 96. 96. That's why, the first one. Why'd you name it Summertime 96? Because it's like, it's my debut mixtape, okay. basically, where I'm like, sit dead ass rapping. And, um, you know, I just wanted it to be as me as possible, even though when I listen back to it now, I could hear every rapper that I was listening to at that time. Got gotcha. you. Influences. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. I mean, so, but like, I named it Summertime 96 because I was born in 1996 in the summer. Gotcha. It started the summer. Oh, that's what I got you. Know? you. Okay. So, you know, it's just my roots, I guess. Nice. And it makes sense now looking back on it. Was it paying homage to 90s hip hop or not necessarily? Of course. Because, okay. you know, the sounds, is because I had like, um, Can't Wait by Redman, I took the beat, and I believe I took another one, but everything is like real boom bap influence because that's what I grew up on mainly. Not saying like the other shit ain't cool. Gotcha, yeah. Fuck with the other shit, because yeah. I grew up in it, shit. But I, my heart, like I sometimes say like, I grew up in the wrong time period. Like I wish I could have lived my teen years and my 20s in the 90s. That era, like yeah. Like if I had a time machine, I would go, to, I would start at 1990, January 1st, and live out in New York for a whole decade. During that crazy era? Just to yeah. see everything <laughs> no in person. Doubt. No doubt. Just feel that energy. But, yeah. I mean, but you're doing your thing right now. You you know, you're so, you know, you are bringing that energy somewhere with the group Second Generation Wu. You know, yeah. you're paying homage, but you also, you all have your new sound as well. Yeah. Um, when you was, you know, being that you're the son of Method Man, was there pressure you felt to have a certain sound? To either sound like him, not sound like him? Like, you, know, you can't make everybody happy. Everybody got, has an opinion when you. True, but I never really felt pressure okay. because, like, I don't, I don't feel like I have to live up to any kind of standard because he's my dad. You feel me? Because I'm me and he's him at the end of the day. And of course, you know, uh, it's like I want to have my own legacy. I don't want to be known. I want to live in. I don't want to live and die as yo. That was Method Man's son. Gotcha. I want to be known. Yo, that was Fifth. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I, nah, I don't feel no type of pressure. I don't feel like I gotta impress nobody because I'm just doing me. End of the day. When did you transition your name from Father Shah to Fifth Fifth Power? When I started taking um, uh, Five Percent Serious, okay. Seven Nations of Islam, and you know, I'm 
the number five has always been in my life for as long as I can remember, you feel me? And uh, without getting too deep, uh, five is power and reinforcement and supreme mathematics. So, took it and ran with gotcha. it. Nice. And I also live, I would like to say, the fifth borough because everybody always want to count as last. Facts. So I'm representing <laughs> yeah. I'm fifth. I'm Fifth from Staten Island. That's nice. Now, now I'm putting it together. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. The fifth borough, exactly. I call it the fifth dimension. You mm -hmm. feel me? That's dope right there. It is, it is a fifth borough. Sometimes people say the forgotten borough. All the time. But what's, what's last shall be first, what's first shall be last. Remember that. No doubt. Fifth power. Knowledge right there. It's been that 5% knowledge, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know recently they had the anniversary or something yeah. in Harlem, everything. So, um, you didn't have the pressure, which was good. You was able to kind of pursue your own yeah. sound, how you, you know, the music you wanted to, to do. Yeah. Summertime '96. Then you came out with the Peep yeah. joint. What was that Peep album? The Peep was album. The EP? Yeah, it was a little EP okay. of five songs. Crazy. And um, if they go to that number again. That's true. Yeah. But, that's true. Uh, <laughs> it was just, it was like a point in my time, a point in my life where I was like really really depressed, you feel me? So I don't, I like always had trouble expressing my feelings because as black men, you always brought up to be like, yo, don't be soft, you show feelings, yo, that's that's sweet, don't do that, it's supposed to be hard, it's supposed to be a man. So you like, you know, you bottle that shit in, but you know, men have feelings too, not to be soft, because I would still smack the shit out of all you <laughs> niggas. But I got my pain out and my feelings on paper, you okay, feel me? Nice. So like the first joint I've ever, I recorded, I mean the first joint I wrote, was called great because at that time I was feeling good, you feel me? And then I hit bad writer's block and I couldn't write shit. And then I was depressed about a whole bunch of other shit stacking up mm. and just got my pain down on paper. And then that was with that. That project wasn't for nobody but me. I nice. put that out okay. for me and whoever else wanted to hear it for real. That shit was for me personally. Expressing that was yourself? Like, that yeah, was yeah. like my therapeutic nice. project. That's why I started short because I didn't want to give niggas. 12 songs like damn nigga like all right we get it you like, i kept it yeah, short yeah. like plus ain't even really much to talk about nigga i was sad <laughs> you feel me so like, you kept yeah. it short and to the point yeah but, sweet and simple yeah, man yeah. how did you <laughs> overcome that depressed you know era or, or when you were down at that moment you said just, hip hop helped you with therapy yeah but, music helped me but also the people that's closest to me you feel me you know, knowing who's in my corner and, you know, just realizing, like, you know, life is short to be fucking sad all day, bro. Like, you, like, the sun is out. It's a wonderful day. People are smiling. You living. You alive. Niggas die every day. Like, not even from gunshots, drugs. Nigga, people go to sleep and don't wake up again, no matter what age you are. So, you know, you just find a reason to be happy and be grateful that you breathing. So. That's a good perspective right there, yeah, to help yeah, man. get out of a, a bad period. Yeah, you know? yeah, for real, you know, you gotta learn to smile and love yourself. Especially right now, there's a lot of people going through it because of uh, lockdown, yeah. you know. A whole bunch of shit. Not working, not paying, you know, getting money, whatever it is, nice. you know. Not, and it's like, a lot of people in that mood right now, hopefully they're listening right now. Mm, We're just yeah. gonna get over it, just a yeah, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little period. So, what was your family's response to you pursuing hip-hop? Did they want you to do it? Were they like, you um, know, no, do something else? You know, you know, since they've been in the industry and all that experience. I'm gonna give you from my, like, this is my perspective. Cause it's like, at first, I thought like they, you know, they didn't really hear it, you feel me? Cause like, you know, I never played my music. I never really made it known that I was doing music and stuff like that. Like I would give like subtle hints and stuff like that. Like, yo dad, you can give me studio equipment. Mm -hmm. You can buy me this beat machine and shit like that. So like, but from what I know, Whoever's around my dad was putting the bug in his ear, like, nigga, you heard your son rap before? Mm -hmm. Like, for real, listen to this shit. And then it got to the point where, like, he knows, so now I just sent him records. So he could be like, yo, I don't like this ball, or like, or not switch that. But he don't really do that. He fuck with whatever I put gotcha. down on paper. Gotcha. So, like, I really, you know, and he do the same thing to me. Like, I'll be coming downstairs, walk into the refrigerator, he'll be right, he like, I said, and he'll just start going off. And then start breaking down his bars. I like that shit. Because I be doing the same thing to my people. So I'm like, nah, but you didn't hear when I said. Mm, you feel you. me? Yeah, yeah. So, like, and my yeah. mom, she my biggest fan. So she she love whatever I do, no matter what. 
And my grandma, she don't really listen to rap, but she support anything her grandkids got do. Got you, okay. As long as it's positive. It sounds like for the most part you got the support, you know, yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that encouragement. Um, so then you dropped the Free Water. Yes, sir. That was another EP you dropped. Yeah, it was, it, no, it was like a, a mixtape, but okay. I also like, because I put it on like streaming services, and I couldn't put um, like Peep back up. So I put like, you know, a deluxe quote unquote. Of, okay. You know, Why'd you call it Free Free Water? I was also interested by that title. Because uh, water is also like wisdom and brings you back to the 5% mm. and shit. So like I was just giving out free water, plus water is good for you. Mm. You feel me? So it's so like, yo, music. just take this. Gotcha. This is okay. me dropping jewels and me talking my shit the whole time and just be like, yo, just take this and run with it. That was you giving free water, yeah. basically. You giving the people, yeah. the listeners, free water. Understood. Yeah, and also free water, too. Not the not a mixtape, a person. Free my man water. Okay, free water. I'll be home soon. No doubt. Um, so then you ended up linking up with Intel. It looks like yeah. Intel was kind of... In the background, even before y'all formed the group, mm -hmm. from what I'm hearing. Yeah, he's been rapping since he's been rapping. From what I know, like, I seen him when I was, like, real young. He was about, like, 15, 16 when I first heard him start mm -hmm. rapping. So, like, you know, like, he, and I just, like, wanted to impress him at a point. So, like, that's my mentor. Because I heard I mean, you say that before, where he's your mentor. Yeah. You, Cause he was the one. He was the one. Like when I told him, I said like I wrote that first song that I beat. He's the first nigga I sent it to. Yeah, he's the first, the first nigga I sent it to because he's the only one I really trusted. Cause like, you know, it's some embarrassment. Like ah, oh, nigga, everybody rap now. Oh, you rap? Like ah, oh, this shit was whack. You feel me? But like he was like, yo, I fuck with it. But he started giving me pointers and all that. So you know, I always look to him and shit like that. And we always been around each other because we family, bro. That's, That's my first cousin. Next, so he's your first cousin. Yeah, yeah. He's so he's a son of you, God. You're the son of Method Man. Yeah. Y'all first cousin. So y'all grew up even as kids together, yeah, knowing yeah. each other and everything. He, he seen me when I popped out. You feel me? <laughs> okay. He was there. Got you. So he, it was his idea to kind of bring the young, he, that second all, generation. Since the beginning, since the, I feel like he had that vision since he started rapping. I'm not going to say this shit happened within the last year. He came up with the crazy act. Nah, nigga. He manifested this a long time ago for a fact, and I, I already know that. And it just came to fruition within, you know, the past couple months leading up to a year, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, actually. It's been a year. It's been, it's been a year, a year. Yeah, since yeah. the show, so, you know. I mean, how's that been? I mean, the, the response from what I'm seeing has been awesome, you know? You guys released the first video, the mm -hmm. 7OD. I had the honor of shooting that with y'all yeah. in Brooklyn. You, YDB, Intel, yes, and later sir. on, you know, Sun God. So, and the response has been crazy from that single. Mm -hmm. I know y'all dropped a bunch of other videos after that. Did you anticipate the response that people are gonna be like, yo, I fucks with this? Not gonna lie, no. But it was something like, it, it was like, at first, it was like, nah, like, this is gonna do, like, you know, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be all right. You know, people's gonna fuck with this, like, stat now, mm -hmm. you feel mm -hmm. me? I wasn't, like, anticipating, like, yo, peace from Russia in my DMs and shit like that. <laughs> shit, like, yeah. bro, that shit is crazy to me. And, it's been, like, I ain't never been a part of a video that had over 100 views <laughs> on, on YouTube, gotcha, man. And that yeah. shit got... 3,300 like K yeah, or some yeah. shit like that. That but, shit is yeah, amazing. Yeah, now it's like, it's, I think it's over 500,000 right like, now. Bro, it's like, bro, I yeah. was in double XL and shit. Like, bro, I was I was on DJ K Slay. Mm, like, nice. That shit is crazy to me, bro. Like, that's the shit niggas dreamed of. You feel me? But the mission ain't complete, bro. So I ain't gonna get too full of myself. Mm, okay. So I stay hungry? Yeah, of <laughs> course. Even when I get a million in the bank account, it ain't enough. Yeah, man. I, mean, I ain't gonna smile to the day I lay in the casket because I did what I want, fuck I wanted to do. That's beautiful, man. That you get to pursue your dreams, you know, yeah. the art that you love and build a name for yourself through it, you know. Because a yeah. lot of artists, you know, they're dope as hell, don't necessarily get the shine that they deserve for whatever reason. Yeah. So it's definitely rewarding when you release music that people actually embrace mm -hmm. and like, yo, this is. Motherfuckers from Russia, like you said, Facts. you know, all over that the shit world. Is crazy. It's cold as fuck out there. I don't know nobody out there. And that shit is crazy. They still blasting that second generation yeah, world. Man, like, y'all be seeing, like, people be tagging me, and it's like people from across the world, they be dancing to that shit. I'm like, 
Like, what, bro? Like, that shit is, that shit crazy. I know you have released some other videos after that, one of them featuring your pops as well. Yeah. Um, new generation shit. New generation shit, yeah. How is the other members of Wu-Tang, as far as you know, embracing the second generation Wu? Um, I know that they fuck with it because we doing something positive and we not shitting on the legacy no possible way. But when I'm around them as well, that's family. They all uncle. You feel me? Even though I don't see them on a daily basis, Touch, yeah. they know my face, they know my name, they know who I am. And it's love every single time. You feel me? What so. are you working on now? Are you, are you still are you going back to the solo? Are you yeah, always a solo I'm, artist, even though you're part of a group? You still do solo yeah, stuff I'm, as well? I'm working on some solo shit right now. You know, because... I don't know if I can say this out loud. <laughs> you can release an exclusive. About the two, all right, so like the to album you. is done, basically. The album is the, done, the, nice. The 2G Wu album is done and shit. What is it one more time? The, the 2G Wu album is done. Oh, the 2G Wu No, Woo not album. 2G Wu, my bad. Oh, okay. The Gifted album. Oh, the Gifted album the is gifted done. The Gifted album is done. I mean, that shit will be out. Uh, I, I can't say that. But Okay, so The Gifted done. is you and Intel? Yes, Okay. Me and him. And um, but two G like my fault like I be even fucking up. Two G Wu is the big ass umbrella we fall under. Understood. Okay. Like if you come from, if you got any of that shit in your blood, and you could look at your pops and be like, yo, he was a part of this. Mm -hmm. You two G Wu. I don't care who you is. Nice. You feel me? Got you. So even though you know, but gifted. That's me and that's Intel. That's that's the other group. So you you kind of part of that's like a, that's a, your duo. A duo. It's a duo. Okay. It was a duo before we even had a name. You feel me? Okay. So it was a duo. So it's gonna be basically you and Intel. Yeah. And what about production what wise? Well, production wise, we got my man Jay Glaze on it. Nice. Who produces Seven O D as well, yeah, right? We yeah. yeah. Um, we got you know got a couple people. Oh, right? oh. Um, so that's gift. I'm excited to hear that, man. Yeah, that yo. Yeah. So you and you and Intel are part of second generation world, but now you got your own group called Gifted. That's yeah. G F T D. Nah. Okay. I, I forgot how you spelled it. <laughs> exactly. Cause Intel be spelling yeah. it crazy. I thought it was like some you know acronym type of thing. Yeah, but not, but not, it's yeah. gifted. It's gifted. It's gifted. All right, we'll look it up. We'll look it up and, and yeah. post it. You know, underneath this. So you excited about the release of that? How do you feel? Yeah, I'm excited for it. You know, because you know. It's, it's the debut, it's people that get to hear us from, you know, and see what we, we, where we have musically, you feel me, besides 7OD and shit, because people be like, yo, release something new, blah, 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 so like, you know, this is it, you feel me, now they're going to sit with this, I hope they enjoy it, because, you know, we put, you know, hard work, effort, blood, sweat, and tears in it. No shit. doubt. Are you any features you able to mention? Is it too soon? Or? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of people from the home team. Okay. You already know. Nice. So you know, stay tuned. Definitely, man. That's gonna be that's gonna be dope. So you've been working even during this pandemic. Yeah. I know y'all been in the studio. Y'all yeah, been. I've been I've been on my solo shit right now, working on a whole bunch of stuff that I really cannot mention. Mm. So yeah, just, you, just know it's dope. I'm sure, man. How you feel? Is is the production with the solo project from the same crew who produced? Mm -hmm. This is okay. gonna, this is some shit. <laughs> <laughs> some secrets. Yeah, so this, type is, shit? this is like this is like if I tell you I gotta kill you. No, no. For real. <laughs> I'm about to die on my own show. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I can't even do that. It's gonna end like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, man. yeah it's just, That's top secret shit. Yeah, it's classified. Some top secret shit. That's in the, Deep in the vault right now. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. You got a title for it. Can you see how many? No, you can't release nine. Nothing, no information. <laughs> period. How many songs are done no off of it? Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta try to get some info. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. I right. sworn the secrecy. That's that's crazy right there. That means it's, that means it's gonna be super dope. You yeah. working, you know, in the secret lab and all that. Yeah. Um. So. I know y'all. You did you did a tour with Second Generation Wu. Y'all performed in some some other states and stuff. Yeah. Large crowds. Do you like that stage? Like, what do you prefer more? Do you doing the interviews? Like doing a studio session? Doing IG lives? Or or do you like that blessing the stage with like hundreds of people? I like I like performing a lot because I get to real, I'm like an energy ball sometimes, and I gotta get that shit out because like sometimes I be too chill. And like I could just wild the fuck out, do whatever I want to do, and I'm performing my records. Like 
what more can I ask mm, for? No doubt. So like, the, crowd, the interviews and shit like that, all that is cool. Like I always wanted to do that. But performing is nothing else like it. No, I, I, I have yet to stage, yeah, yeah, I have yet to stage dive. I wanna mm, do it. Okay. <laughs> it looked like you I mean I saw some clips from the Pennsylvania show. Oh now, yeah. That yeah, show look yeah. that show looked crazy. Yeah. You, you your energy was, was up there. Yeah, and show. I I lost my voice during fucking um rehearsals right before the shit. And I was I was up there dying the whole time, but I was still giving what I got. You feel me? Pause. No doubt. That's dope to, to, to have people singing your songs. Yeah. You know, your, your, your lyrics. Shit, you know. Yeah, that shit dope. Um, anything you want to talk about that you're working on that you know that people don't know about? I know you do music for the most part yeah. and hip hop and stuff. Is there something else that you're working on currently that people might not? That might be some Not really, you feel me? You know, I just been chilling, I'm doing music. That's your main um, focus? Yeah, that's my main focus. But I also do want to branch out into other things and opportunity shows as hell. Like I wanna um like I've been writing short like shorts, like skits. Like story um, like, yeah, like skits, like okay. Skits that I wanna do. Um, and you know the way I wanna do my music videos when it's time. And uh, I also wanna get into acting. That's what I was wondering if that's next. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to get in the actor and also modeling because an ugly nigga got to get on camera too and take some pictures, bro. Facts. Model some clothes, yeah. Yeah. Fashion. Facts. Yeah, yeah. So it's good that you focus on the music for the most part right yeah. now, but you are planning on branching out, which is dope as hell. Yeah, yeah. Can't and get more dominant too. Continue that legacy. Yeah. Cause that's what kind of what the Wu. They did, they did different things, movies, yeah. directing, acting, All that. writing books, like, you know, you know, writing shit, so, you, uh, you ready to get into the freestyle session? Yes, That's sir. what we got you here for. Yes, sir. All right. Let's go. Fifth Power on Instagram. Yes, sir. All right, I got a bunch of beats here. We're doing it differently this season. We're going to have certain producers who are going to provide beats for the show, and we're going to basically freestyle over there. Yeah, production, all right? Got you. This is by my man Jabbar. He's out of Chicago, but he has a studio in Brooklyn right now. You want to pick the beat? You want to yeah, just go through it? Just name there. there. Shout out Jabbar. Got my man Fifth Power in the car today. Yeah. yeah. Fifth in your area, tearing up, causing my hysteria with images. Them since they need bandages, caught me on the cameras. He was brown skinned, nappy beard, holding hammers up. You know me from a young nigga with a big head. Now you catch me with the model bitches with the big heads, or in the field with them killers who be rubbing their nose, puffing them boogers. Now that's not shit. All of my clothes moving through hookers, I be flowing like a fetus in a pussy. You won't be born again if you niggas try and push me. Little nigga, look it. I show you how to do this, son. It's still the father, don't front, cause you need one. Fifth yeah. power, yeah. still the father. As a reference to Father Shaw, yeah. right? Yeah. Still the father, motherfucker. Even if he goes by fifth power right now. Yeah. Uh, you wanna switch it up? You wanna yeah. stick on that beat? Right, let's see what else we got here. This is so simple. This is better be hard. Yeah, better be hard. Let me get some drops. I bet. Fuck with this one. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, turn this shit up. Freestyle Drive featuring Fifth Power. Easy stepping blocks with the strings loose. I'm never tripping, this what Pete do. Visions of cream coops, clean cut in the me suit. Off white hoodie, just to match the Jeep with no roof. You niggas is pawns, I'm king Duke to whoever you bring to. That nigga fifth got fat bitches who sink too. I'm over your head, like snipers aiming from three roots. My dog pack a pound, he gon' bark if you bite fool. That's life, fool, since a baby. Mama, dad, to raise me, yeah, this school been well. College maybe, picked up the pen, I started raising hell. Tried to be Flacco, tried to be Kendrick, but they wasn't shot. Had to revamp, get my own sound, and put my faith in God before I lay my head to sleep. Pray and keep me from the weight, never die before I Wake, I came here from the perfect gates. Amen to all who praise him, who made the sunshine, who we all put faith in. It's fifth. It's fifth, yeah. Nigga, hold up. Down, fifth power, Whoa. second generation woo. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Freestyle drive. Uh, 
This shit hard. My man hey. Jamar on the beats. Hey, I'm about to freestyle out the top. Let's do it. Hey. 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 What's up? Freestyle drop. Yeah, we get loud. My name is Fifth Power. Like to get hot. Smoke that good. Wish that you could. Take a hit of this smack, you bitch. I wish you would. I said I wish a bitch would jump up on the wood and mm, ride the stick cause she could. I spit it off the top. Lord nigga get put in the box with some cereal food. Lunch boy. Feed you a punch boy. <laughs> oh shit, hold on. I like this beat. Hey, hold on, what is this back? That beat is hard. Get off the dome. That beat is hard. <laughs> Get hey. off the top, yeah. Off the top, off the top. Freestyle drive. Hey, yeah, shout out, what's his name again? It's Jabbar right yeah, here. Yo, shout out Jabbar from Chicago, man. Hey, hold up. I dropped my little dusty shit. Let's get it. Set. The bitch called me on the iPhone. So to leave the mom home. Come through, see my boo. Nah, nah, fuck that, hold on. Let me see what I got here. That nigga look real weird. <laughs> you niggas look real scared. Get that shit out of here. The police lurking too. I told them fuck one and two. Fuck 12, yeah, I raise hell. If I go to jail, don't raise bell. Don't let me out, cause I come to your house, kick up in the door, smack you in your mouth, leave you on your couch. Ooh, make you run all your shit. Ooh, might spit on your chick, spit on your kids. Might take all your chicks, get in their ribs. Hey, I don't eat ribs, that's the swine. Little nigga, I am divine. Being, I'm living true, you know you see him. It's fifth, I be sliding with your BM in the BM or the G. E E P. Go listen to P E E P. Oh, ah, that's that old shit. This is my old flip. You got my old bitch. So sick. <laughs> you know this. Hey, freestyle drive. I with my man. Yeah, I said we live. Check this. I wreck this. Eat your breakfast. Shot. I get reckless. Yeah, oh man, yeah, yeah. I fuck with this. Yeah. We gotta get it to you. Right? <laughs> we gonna send you, we gonna send you this beat. Yes, oh, man. Power, <laughs> drive. Before we end the show, any last words you wanna tell those who are watching us right now? Yes, sir. Fifth Power, where can they check you out? You know, um, you can find me on Instagram at Fifth Power. That's five T H P X W E R. Find me on there, like all my pictures, send me DMs. Go find me on Twitter if you can. Right? <laughs> That's a mission. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, where can fair. people check out your music? Uh, you can find me on, on uh, whatever you're listening mm, to, whatever okay. streaming, Spotify title, Apple Music, Power, PXWER, Second Generation Rule. Um, yeah, man. Check me out. Check them out. Nigga, working. I rap. I work here. You got some new stuff coming out. Freestyle drive. Thank you, my brother. This is a dope show. I like this show. I wish I could have invented this show. Appreciate you being I'm on the show. Steal your show boy. <laughs> hey, yo, you, want, you want to come on anytime, man. <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to have you hosting some of the shows. Yeah, Who knows, yeah, you know? I might bring a couple of the guys that no, rap through. No doubt, no doubt. I was yeah. happy to have you on, man. Yes, sir. It's a right? pleasure to be here, man. To my I brother. enjoyed this shit. Had a good time driving around, standing with you. Yes, sir. Talking about your history yes, and the sir. new stuff in the works, all right? Yeah, man. Man. Thank everybody for tuning in. Everybody stay safe. All right. Oh, Happy peace. to be back. Peace, love, positivity, man. No doubt. Peace, y'all. Peace. Remember to smile, bitches. Yeah.